Callahan, everyone's always asking us, how do we use geometry? How do we use math? So here's a table we are building. This is going to be a round table. It's going to be about 55 inches in, diameter, in diameter. So what we're going to be using are these two by sixes that we've got right down here stacked up. And these two by sixes will be the table top. And they're going to look something like this picture right here, where there's going to be uh, 55 inches across the center and there's going to be 10 boards to make the 55 inches. If you know anything about two by sixes, they're about five and a half inches wide because we call them two by sixes. Well, that's a whole nother story why they're that way. So if we look at what I wanna do is find out how big do I need to cut these. These two middle ones are going to be 55 inches. But as you see, the, as we get closer to the edge, they don't need to be so wide. Uh, so, I'm, you know, I don't want to go buy a bunch of two by sixes that I don't need. So I'm trying to find out what my buy list looks like. So what I, what I want to do is find out on, as I go further from the circle, how long are these boards, where these lines are, the edge of the boards. And if we look, the center of the circle, there's a radius. Uh, then we, we basically end up with a triangle. So if we remember in geometry that these things here that go through the circle, they're called a chord. They touch the edge of the circle. And if you take a perpendicular bisector, in other words, we draw a line to bisect at a right angle, that chord right there, then what I end up with is that will go through the center of the circle. In other words, that's going to form this little line K, and the distance C is half of the distance of that length. So I have a right triangle, so they're, they're, this being the radius, which I know is 55 inches. So if I just look at the tabletop, it's two by six boards. They're five and a half inches wide. So we look at chapter 12, theorem 58, if I can read my own writing, perpendicular boards. So, uh, so the radius of each board, this radius here, is going to be 55 divided by two, which is 27 and a half inches. This is Pythagorean theorem. Uh, C squared plus K squared equals R squared. So I've got that. So basically C is equal to this ratio here or this, uh, this equation. So basically what I did is I plugged into the equation each value as I came out from the board. This distance here is five and a half. So five and a half plus five and a half is 11. So 11 plus five and a half is 16 and a half and so on. So I made a little table and just plugged in that little formula. So here, this, so at this first board, the C was 26, 27. So if I doubled that, <clears throat> it was about 24. Now I rounded up because obviously I can't uh, make, yeah, it just was easier because I'm gonna cut the boards flat first. So what I'm going to do is, or I'm gonna cut them square off on the edge, not flat. So basically I just wanted to find out how long to cut the boards. And so approximately 54 inches, 51 inches, 44 inches, and 33 inches. So you see, I've put those measurements out here. At the center, it's going to be 55. At the edge of that first board, it's going to be 54, 51, 44, and 33. So if you see these little dashed lines, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to cut the boards off square, and then we're going to round them off later. So basically, here's what I need to do. is just using my table there and saying I'm going to cut two boards at 55 inches. I'm going to cut two boards at 54 inches. I need two boards at 51 inches two boards at 44, and two boards at 33. And from that, I will get uh, the circle, and I'll be able to have the boards and not waste too much wood. Now I know what I need to buy.